Hey guys, how you doing? This is Robbie at Bang for Your Buck RC Reviews. Really, really thank you very much for stopping in and watching my channel. I really always appreciate you guys when you do that. If you get a chance, hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification so you guys can get regular notifications every time I upload a video. And lately that has not been very often and I apologize, just things, just uh, life happens and uh, not always, always uh, in the mood to, um, to be videotaping. Uh, I love to do RCing, but sometimes I'm, you know, I don't want the camera on me, so, uh, or the car. It's just that uh, you can't have the same uh, good time uh, filming as you do when, uh, when you're just out there having a good time. So, anyway, guys, I do appreciate you guys being here, and it's not that I don't want to make videos for you guys. I'm going to try to share them as often as I can. This channel right here is Bang for Your Buck RC Reviews. We, or I, I should say, try to find vehicles for people uh, that are maybe dabbling about getting into the hobby, maybe want to get into the hobby, maybe just don't want to spend a lot of money or don't have a lot of money uh, to to get into RCing and stuff. So uh, I look for the uh, the budget stuff. Not everything is really cheap. I don't. I try to find and research some vehicles before I do purchase them and put them on the channel uh, to see, uh, make sure I'm gonna get a good quality bang for your buck. Sometimes I don't even know going into it exactly what this vehicle vehicle is because there is no, uh, no, there's no information or very little information about the vehicle uh, before I put it out. But today we're gonna be talking about crawlers. Now the crawler scene has been exploding for a long time now. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of crawlers. I try to dabble in everything, you know, a uh, little bit of everything, and everything is uh, usually budget-minded and budget-oriented. Uh, but yeah, I do have some big crawlers. You know, one-tenth is the biggest uh, scale that I usually run. I don't have a lot of room, so I don't go into or look into the one-eighth stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, I get into, a lot of different RCs uh, that I want to show you guys um, and just you know show you guys that uh, you can get them uh, if you look hard enough or wait sometimes it's patience uh, to find deals uh, that you you know you don't have to spend three or four hundred dollars on an RC you know you don't have to spend two hundred dollars on and uh, so lately the crawler scene, the, the last 10, 15 years the crawler scene has been just nuts. And uh, you know, with that being said, uh, the micro scene or the mini scene uh, of RC crawlers, those are mine. I don't have very many. This is my FS Racing Freeman buggy. Uh, with a sound board and everything. There's my CR18, which I love this truck, but I just, uh, I just, I need, a, I need to get a new ESC for it. And uh, probably gonna go with a new Enjora one. And uh, there is my Panda Hobby. But back to what I was saying, you know, these mini crawlers are exploding big time. And they're a lot of fun. I get why people like them so much. I do myself uh, love running them. Uh, it's not that I can't work on them, but my eyesight is failing slowly, well, maybe rapidly. And I have a hard time working on these tiny ones because I can't see anything. I even have a hard time seeing the uh, knobs on the controller sometimes. So anyway, uh, like I said, I'm getting off the rabbit trail here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys some of the RCs I got in just in my room here. Uh, the mini crawler scene is really going nuts, 
and it's getting competitive. You got comp crawlers, you got all kinds of stuff, uh, and and uh, upgrade kits and upgrade parts. And I don't know if you guys know me and my channel. I probably said it a few times. I mean, I do upgrades once in a while on my RCs. Most of the time, I do run them stock. Uh, and I keep them that way until the motor breaks or, or the ESC burns out and then I'll put a uh, brushless setup in there. But not very often, uh, I, but I, I do do it. I have several RCs that I have upgraded and it's not that I'm afraid to get into the mechanical part of it. I just, uh, you know, I don't see the need to go and buy stuff. Uh, all kinds of upgrade parts if the, if the RC kind of works good. And I have fun with it just as it is. <laughs> so yeah, excuse my mess guys. All kinds of RCs in here. Down in there. And uh, stuff that's coming up right there. And I have some more in the other room, uh, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna look at those right now. We're gonna go upstairs here and we're gonna see Uh, what I have for you today and you guys are probably aware that everybody and their mother and their brother has gotten <laughs> not not everybody because not everybody can afford one of these right off the bat but uh, many people on YouTube that are covering RC crawlers right now have had this baby on the channel this is the red cat Ascent Micro. This is the 18th scale. Really nice little crawler. Really capable little crawler. I'm not going to go through all the insides and stuff uh, for you guys because, you know, you can probably go right now. I mean, there's so many videos out on this truck. Take your pick and you will probably have one that someone has taken the time to go through everything uh, with you. You know, on the inside I'll just do the basics you know it does have a 180 motor it does have a four link suspension oil filled shocks glued tires but very very plush tires uh, clipless body really really nice truck uh, with a, a red cat you know uh, put this out uh, just a few weeks ago and the upgrade brass parts and aluminum bits uh, are plentiful for this um, you might if you go to your local hobby shop they might be running out of the truck themselves or the parts uh, so this thing is really hitting like a uh, like a storm man going through someplace and it's just it's everybody is going crazy over this thing and I can see why because we're going to show you in just a minute I did say, set up a, a little course in my living room and uh, we're going to show you what this thing is capable of this right here at this time right now the introductory price on this is $99 guys this is a budget micro crawler that is probably the most capable crawler out of the box um, in the micro uh, category and the cheapest one of the cheapest so this right here really deserves some attention if you guys are getting into crawling this is a great beginner uh, RC vehicle it does have some wheel speed it does have some low-end torque it has some awesome steering angles and you guys are gonna see that in a minute but before I do that I have to give some uh, attention to this guy right here. This is the All-Star. Uh, I think it was the AX All-Star AX8560. Excuse me and pardon me if I get that maybe mixed up or wrong. Uh, but also at $60, I got this. It was just about 60 bucks after taxes. Um, <laughs> very very super capable crawler it will hang with the red cat uh, for the most part uh, it does have a hard body on this so it, it is a little more top heavy 
This is basically based on a TRX uh, 4M. And let me tell you guys, this has a 370 motor in it. The ESC is as silent as the Red Cat over here. And man, I tell you, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with this. So, uh, yeah, this is not, you can't, you know, swap all the parts with a TRX4M. A lot of things will fit, a lot of things will work, but it's based primarily on the same setup as the TRX4M. So, let's go take a look at the course I have. And uh, we'll check that out. And we'll, we're going to put these two vehicles to the test. I did try those other uh, mini crawlers on this course. And they couldn't get through it. Uh, the CR18 couldn't do it. The Panda Hobbies couldn't do it without getting a lot of wheel speed. I mean, and, and it, basically the course was wrecked. This is an in indoor course I made with just stuff I have laying around. And uh, yeah, the Panda Hobbies was, you know, you had to kind of grenade the whole course uh to get through it so uh and the fs racing got hung up uh so just was constantly having to you know pick it up and position it and reposition it so those cars we're not we're not going to put those uh in this video but we are going to be checking out these two right here and in, in my opinion these are the bang for your buck micro rc crawlers of the year i know it's a little early to say that because we still have several months left of the year and if there's something better that comes along i will definitely uh notify you guys about it so let's uh let's check out the course okay guys there is our ramp going up the couch I do recommend anybody doing a ramp test and using cabinet planks. Uh, if it feels like your tires are slippery, uh, just get some uh, degreaser and degrease uh, the living crap out of that and your vehicles will have much better uh, tire grip uh, going up. Uh, there is the sidewall uh, that is set at 45 degrees. This is set at 50 degrees. And here is the course right here. As you can see, we're starting off with the General Lee here. And then we're gonna run on top of these cars, over the tops, over the tires. And then we're gonna come around. And we got another barrage of 18th scale vehicles. These are all 118 scale vehicles, guys, because I wanted it to be somewhat scale with the cars that I'm driving. And then we get the, uh, the V notch right here. And it'll show a test of balance. Okay, guys. So that is the course right here from uh, aerial view and uh, we're going to start off with the uh, red cap scent and uh, you guys I, I hope I can do it justice uh, but you'll see how, how good this uh, little truck is and, and not that this is really hard I mean you, you, if you look on a lot of other videos this, that, that little truck is going over uh, some uh, so many different kinds of terrains and angles and it's handling it uh, amazingly but this right here there's a lot of little traps in here uh, where your tires fall into the between the cars and uh, yeah it's it's pretty technical so yeah let's take a look at these uh, see how they do all right, guys, I do want to say there's no weights. This is totally stock. As a matter of fact, I didn't even charge the battery up on this truck. And uh, I've been driving it. Uh, it comes with a 700 milliamp hour LiPo battery. And uh, I haven't even charged it yet. So it's this is the same charge that it came shipped with. So uh, yeah, let's get this, let's get this going here. You 
can see that it has a super nice modulation, super slow crawling. You don't even hear the ESC. I've heard there were people saying that the ESC is loud. And I guess they have a right to their opinion, but uh, I don't see how anybody can say that. Normally with a lot of other crawlers, you hear that constant whine. This, there is no, no constant whine with this. And that servo is just crazy. It, it, it is strong. Oh, we're in a little jam here. Stuck in a little... Really good flex. Oh, we're gonna have to back up here. Alright. And we'll come back. Impressive. Okay, now we're gonna go down the B notch. This thing just is, I'm so impressed with it. And I still love my other RCs, the uh, Panda Hobbies and the CR18. Those are, those are just awesome trail trucks. But this right here, uh, out of the box, it's on another level. Nice. Okay, here we're gonna check, uh, this is like I said, a 50 degree incline. Uh, just trust me guys, I did measure it. Uh, it is a 50 degree incline, and we're not gonna hit it hard, we're just gonna try to go up slow. Just walking up. Boom. Now let's uh, check the drag brake on it. Good drag brake. That's just basically sliding, that's gravity pulling it down. I've heard people say that the drag brake is not good either. But from what I'm used to, it's really good for me. Here we go on the uh, slant board here. If you guys get a chance to check out Roadside RC, Troy over to Roadside RC, he does all kinds of these scientific tests all the time. All the time on vehicles, whether it's uh, crawlers or drifting or planes or robots uh, check out his channel uh, he's an awesome dude gets his kids involved with the RC's as well and uh, just seems like a real good person and uh, got a great channel whoops I think I, that was my fault Let's try that again but yeah it's doing the 45 degrees which to me is you know pretty standard I'd say it did it. Uh, it did roll. But uh, yeah, let's get the All Star out and see how that thing does on this course.
All right, everybody, we get the uh, Osta Hobby AX8560. Uh, We're going to put it through the same paces as the Ascent. This thing is all stock, bone stock, just like the other, uh, just like the Ascent I just tested. Uh, we're gonna see how good this thing is in its bare trim. You can get up, you know, upgrades for this. You can put brass in the wheels. You can get different wheels. Uh, I'm sure you can put different uh, suspension links and uh, shocks on this. This does have friction shocks, unlike the Ascent that has oil shocks. Let me stop blabbing. Let's get this thing going. We are gonna go over the general here. See how we do. Of course, it is a little tippier than the uh, than the ascent uh, due to that hard body shell. It's a little bit heavier. S super good slow modulation on this. And this is a 370 brushed motor with a super friendly and quiet ESC. Go through the next part here. one I think is a little harder there's a lot more places to fall through on this probably a little tippier and uh, this this does have a trailer hitch on this that is another uh, shortcoming of this vehicle oops oh I think my battery is dead yeah I didn't charge this battery guys <laughs> oh shoot all right, I'm gonna put another battery in it. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, yeah, I had to charge that battery. I, as a matter of fact, I had used it, not recharged it, and it was running on what was left in the tank. So uh, I think that, that this uh, comes with a lithium ion. I think it's like 600 milliamp hours. Um, I just put the Panda Hobby battery in this. Super slow crawl modulation uh, for a stock, you know, out of the box. I ordered this uh, from AliExpress. Oop, I might have to back out of this. Catching on something. Oh, that big tire right there. And also the... And we'll come back around the other way. Yeah, so I'm really impressed with this thing. This thing is just... I'm equally impressed with this uh, for, you know, the $55 and change that I had to pay for it. It was about $60 and all. As I am the Ascent. Oh, got that big tire again. Oh, no. yeah, I didn't hit that with the ascent, I think. Seems like I can fight my way through this. You can see that tire pop out. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Panda Hobby truck really exploded through this course and <laughs> threw everything everywhere. Okay, let's get on the, uh, on the V walk, or the V crawl, whatever you want to call it.
right here is going to tip over just because of the weight of the body. I can tell that's 45 degrees and it tipped over. We'll try lowering that just a little bit to 40 degrees. Okay, 40 degrees. Seems to be able to do it at 40. That's pretty good for this. Okay, here we go on the 50 degree slant board. Oh, I got, I'm hitting the trailer hitch. Might have to run up it. 50 it's gonna tip over let's reset that at 45 and see what it does All right we have 40 degrees on the board right now And 45 is its limit. Uh, I had to put it on the board because of that trailer hitch. And uh, here's the drag brake, guys. Drag brake works excellent. And that's it guys, that's pretty much the comparison. Uh, the Austar Hobby really did an excellent job on this uh, for the money. You cannot go wrong with either one of these things. Uh, performance per dollar, you are not gonna beat either one of these. Uh, yeah, there's nice, there's nice, you know, there's the Hobby Plus Pro and the Evo and uh, you know, all kinds of stuff you can do to mod these, but out of the box, if you want to have some fun crawling, these these things, uh, you, can't, you can't beat them. So that's pretty much it, guys. This is Robbie at Bank the Buck RC Reviews. Hopefully you found this uh, comparison helpful. Uh, like I said, if you want more information on these, you can, uh, you can see this unopening and uh, I think uh, review on this uh, in my archive. It's not too long ago, and uh, I have not unboxed this. I probably am not. I'm not gonna obviously unbox this. You guys see it as it is. Excellent truck by Red Cat. They did an excellent job on the Red Cat Ascent Mini. Good job, guys, and thank you guys all for watching. Take care.